It's talking to the future with Javante Gray, and today I'm interviewing Pocket. Pocket. Two and T's. T two T's. Two so, T's. And you're going to tell us about the ice group. So, what is the ice group exactly? Um, the ICE Group is it's actually an acronym, ICE, uh, International Consulting Entertainment Group. Um, it's a group of people, um, independent business owners across the United States and across the world that work to be sort of ambassadors for entertainment is a simple way that I could put it. Um, it was started and originated here in Detroit, Michigan, January 2013. Um, uh, I just wanted to do something a little bit different that encompassed all of entertainment, uh, theater, um, music, uh, audio, even in movies, uh, so, uh, foley work, sound effects, commercials, and then even doing visual work also. So audio and visual, putting that together uh, in an in a advisory way. In other words, I want to help the people in the city kind of and, and give them the one to the two to the three on the publishing, consulting, uh, getting your rights, owning your name, owning yourself before you shop your work or intellectual properties to other entities, you know, to, to, to just really empower the young people in the city so they know what they have and they know that it's not just some music or not just a nice little catchy song. That's an intellectual property and you have, and you should have ownership and registered ownership of that. So that's what the ICE Group is in a nutshell. It's just a company of all executives from different areas who try to help the people in their community that don't necessarily know the full A to Z about the business of the music business. So how long has this company, the Ice Group, been in existence? I know you said since 2003, but how 2013. long? 2013. So, not my mistake. So what are some things you would like to tell people watching about the Ice Group? Well, I mean, uh, definitely we have some new projects coming out. Um, for the whole life of the company, we're really not going to be uh, heavy promoting um, one artist or one project. Our, our main thing that we want to promote is uh, business self-sufficiency and assisting many artists, uh, many business owners. Uh, we work with media companies. Um, we work with different malls. Um, we work with uh, people who put on plays, uh, people who are shooting movies. Anybody who's creating or has any type of ownership over uh, intellectual property. Um, that is the main thing that I feel like personally and what made me go into this direction. That's the main thing that I feel like Detroit, Chicago, New York, um, Gaza, uh, London, there are young artists coming up that are creating the next it, the next fad, the next dance, the next hook, the next movie, the next book that everybody's going to read. But they don't know how to register the work. They don't know how to put their name on it. They don't know how to copyright it. They don't know how to, when they go into production and selling it, to put a barcode on it, you know, to get those scans. You know, they don't know about any of this. So they might spend 10, 15, in my case, 19 years um, stuck between A and B and C maybe, you know, and never getting to D and E and, and major deals and major checks and major situations because they didn't have that basic foundation of the real business and not just okay you rapping on beat okay you sound good your voice sounds good okay that's nice okay the beat is banging it's, it's hitting real hard but when the label comes and says okay we want to offer you this this and this do you know if that's what you should take yeah do you own what you are telling them that you have yeah you know you can get sued like that like yeah, if somebody you don't can say it's theirs and if you don't have a great paper perfect work. example i'm not going to say the name of the project <laughs> But there's a project that's out now that Usher put out and multiple people written and or wrote and produce it, uh, produced it. And till this day, it's still in court and not a penny has been released to anybody because some random guy took the whole project after it was done and copyrighted it under his name. Wow. So even upper echelon producers can be in the studio off of Vibe producing records for the hottest artists in the world and go home and chill and within 24 hours somebody could have took that right out the computer copied it and made it their own copyrighted it and now it's theirs and now you in court like I, that's my voice or that's my beat or that's my I recorded that in my studio but somebody else copyright right copy wrote it under their name so that's that's like the basis of what every time somebody hears my music or hears one of the artists that I'm working with 
uh, the new single Dream that's out right now, uh, Carolyn A. She has that, it's doing, it's doing well online and getting a lot of reception in Florida and in New York. Um, that record, every time I want people to hear it and the video we're shooting that coming up very soon, is gonna be, the video is gonna be kind of the story of her going from sitting at the bus stop to being signed to a major label. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's just showing that it's not overnight. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Time. Like even artists new that are coming up now, like Dej Loaf, yeah. you know, she's not overnight. Yeah. She's it's done like 50, 100, 150 records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To get to try me, try me, simple cadence that everybody can rock to and everybody yeah. can feel and everybody can vibe, whether you're a millionaire basketball player or you a, a wino on the street, yeah. you could still be like, don't nobody want to try me. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And, but she never knew that would be the song that it's put like her in the line. People limelight. wanted to be overnight, but they got to realize it's not going to happen. You have to work toward it. Yeah, and, and, then, and then here's the major thing, too, I want to point out. Getting on takes a lot of time. But once you get on in the music industry or in any industry, in the construction industry, once you get on in the construction industry and, and get a, a good contract, yeah. a million dollar contract, that's when the real work starts. Yeah. You got to work to keep it because somebody else is waiting to take your place. And that's what everybody is fails, fails to realize, especially a lot of people from the Midwest. Yeah. I'm talking Indianapolis, St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, Chicago. I don't want to point anybody out. I'm not going to say any names, but it's a well-known artist from Chicago. Very young, young brother that was wild and crazy. And he got signed to a major label and he just got dropped about three or four weeks ago, five weeks ago. <laughs> I know exactly you know what I'm yeah. saying? And he, everybody thought he had it made with a $3 million deal for the label and everything to that effect. But if after you get on, you do not with that original team, all the snakes are gonna start popping out. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm living it right this moment. You so know? what advice would you have to artists trying to become better their self as artists and get out there? What advice would you have to those artists? Honestly, and it's gonna sound a little, a little generic and a little awkward, but the key to the game right now is Google. That is the key to the game right now, flat out. There's no way I can tell you any other way. Like, if you have original talent, I'm not saying go on Google and you'll be me. That ain't gonna happen. But what I'm saying is, whatever craft or whatever talent that you have, you go on Google and you watch the tutorials over and over again. You, you know, you uh, uh, just, just, delve into it it's just like a library yeah it's like a video library it's like a actual library a digital library you know go on there and study 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 then the next level up of course is a trade school then the next level up is an associates or a bachelor's or a master's you yeah. know and but you always want to be learning you know always learning yeah always learning so i'm gonna start saying google but really google <laughs> means even if google shuts down Always learn and always go to the data banks that have the knowledge and the information and keep soaking that up. That's that's the one advice I would give. So how would any artist in the city of Detroit want to better themselves get in contact with you or the ice group? I got a real easy number. People are like, whip out the phone, like, can I take the number down? I'm like, memorize it. <laughs> it's 313, of course, because we're in Detroit. Yep. Uh, 444 9890. So that's real simple. 444 9890. You could text me or call me, and that's my direct line. And I just set up a meeting with people. We can set up a consultation, sit down with you. You let me know what you already have. Like, okay, I registered my business. I got my EIN number. I got a logo. I just haven't set up my bank account, wrote a business plan, and put together uh, my next five year, you know. So uh, that's kind of how I work. Whatever you have, we go from there and we just add on to what you have to give you that full portfolio, that full package. All right. And would you like telling us about some of your artists you work with currently? Well, right now, the first and foremost, I have to let the world know right now about t Rez, uh, Terrence Reed, t Rez, The Resolution. He's a producer I've been working with for a year right now. Um, I've been working with him for a year and his sound is unlike anyone in the industry right now as far as how versatile he can go with his music. He could do R&B music, he could do hip hop music, he could do Detroit sounding music, yeah. he could do New York sounding, he could do island music, um, and he did Dream for Carol Lynette. Yeah. And that's on SoundCloud right now, and that's like an R&B, free feeling R&B, like an easy R&B record, you know? And he does trap music, he could do, you know, we're working with a couple artists right now, sending tracks into a few artists hip hop. 
So I really want to shout out uh, T. Rez. He's been working really hard um, in the studio every single day. Um, he's the only producer that I know that when we're in the studio, he was in the studio with Day 26. We recording some new uh, some new material for Day 26. They are huh, da, da, bah, trying to find the harmony and everything. He's sitting in the studio with his laptop out and the headphones on, making a whole nother beat for a whole nother session. And I'm like, I'm soaking up the moment. I'm listening to this harmony. I'm listening to that harmony. I'm just soaking the moment up. And he's soaking the moment up, but he's dually at the same time working on something, working on something completely different, like a mastermind. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And those are signs. When you see those signs in people, you know that they were put here for that reason that they have a love for the game, that nobody can take away from them, nobody can diminish. No matter what situation he's in, he's gonna crunch it out. You know, so I wanna shout him out. And also, Carolyn A and Shonda J. I'm working with those two female artists uh, out of Detroit. A lot of you may already know Shonda J. Um, she's dropped a lot of singles. Uh, her music has been played on 98 and 107. She's done a lot of shows around the city of Detroit. Uh, so I know y'all know who Shonda J is. Y'all can check her out on Facebook, Shonda J. And um, Carolyn A, 17 years old. She hasn't even turned 18 yet. She has a single. She'll be opening up for Dej Loaf next year in Florida. Um, just listen to the couple records we got out right now. We just kind of trying to tease. We don't want to put too much out right now, but just check out SoundCloud, Carolyn A, uh, SoundCloud, T-Rez, The Resolution, and follow them, and we'll lead you to the right place as far as good music. And, um, and, and, and definitely, back to the whole point of things getting your business together with the ice group so the name of the uh, the production team is audio illusions um uh we morphed into audio asylum to have a bigger house yeah. so we could uh, work on movies and things of that nature so right now it's audio asylum and um and as of now you definitely want to stay tuned to t rez he's the producer we're going to funnel all the new artists through him through his production uh he has the vision as far as music wise and I'm just making sure everything's taken care of on the business level. So we moving forward. So what is your idea? Uh, how has Detroit made you into the person you are creative wise? I know you say you work oh, with a lot of artists, man. but how is and you, Detroit has its own style. So how has Detroit influenced your style? I'm not going to I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start with the more recent stuff like D12, yeah. uh, Eminem, uh, more recently, Royce the Five Nine. I'm just throwing random names out there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, definitely, I want to shout out Tone Tone on the on the consistency level. You know, I, I don't know anybody who I've spoken to in Detroit, period, that I've said Tone Tone is one of the most consistent artists, and they've said I'm I'm incorrect. Everybody agrees with that. So I gotta shout out Tone Tone on a major level. I gotta shout out Big Sean. Yeah. You know, he took it from absolute. He, I used to be on tour with Big Sean on the schools. We used to go to the middle schools around the city and the elementary schools and rap in front of the kids. He used to be in a group with another cat, and and it came from that. Just us rapping for the kids canned food, good drives, $40, $50 shows, to him being worth $3 million, $4 million right now. You know what I'm saying? So to actually see that and to be a part of that in some way, shape, or form, to me is 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 more than evidence, you know, that, that it can happen for anybody, but it takes that consistency. It takes that original talent mixed with the acquired knowledge. You know, it's a formula, it's a formula, so. I think everybody in the entertainment industry, bar none, is working to better their formula. Yeah, that's quite true. Mm -hmm. And this has been Talking to the Future with Javante Gray. Remember, the future is always tomorrow but today. Get in contact with the Ice Group. The link and number is underneath this. And links to previous interviews. Go subscribe, like, check us out. Peace out, Detroit.